Hi guys, good afternoon. My name is Safil and I'm from Uppercut Boxing Studios. We combine traditional boxing along with high intensity interval training and today I have a great 45 minute boxing workout planned just for you. Here's how we're going to get started. First up, I need to get you through what you're going to need for today and I have two items over here for today. We need a towel and we need two water bottles that are filled up. These are going to be your makeshift weights when we work on later. Next up, let's go through some boxing basics before we get started. First things first, in boxing, we always stand in a specific stance. We don't stand regularly like this. The stance that we adopt, the fighting stance, is with one leg pushing forward, the other leg towards the back. You're gonna notice that there's a line, an invisible line that can run through my stance, just like this. And you wanna make sure you stand at a 45 degree angle with your upper body facing forward. Slant 45 degrees, your upper body, push it forward. It's slightly uncomfortable, and this is what we're going to do to rectify that. We're going to bend our knees, and we're going to bounce. I'm pushing the weight on the balls of my feet. I'm moving left and right. This way, you're going to feel that your feet is going to adjust automatically, and you're going to be nice and stable. So I always want you to keep like this when you're in your fighting stance. Next up for your hands, clench those fists, put it against your cheeks, and your elbows, rest it on your ribs. This is a proper boxing stance. You want to move, you want to punch, all in this stance. So try it for yourself right now at home. Fighting stance. Nice and mobile. And from here, let's go through the next six punches for today. The first punch is called a jab. It's the most essential punch in boxing, and it starts off with your front foot. Your front foot is the hand that is leaning towards the front. The back hand is your strongest hand, so your right hand should be over here, or if you're left-handed, your left hand should be towards the back. If you're right-handed like me, your jab is on the left. How are you going to throw the punch? You're going to release from your chin, expand all the way out, make sure it's twisted, all the way back in. Jab, in. Jab, in. Jab, in. Now I want you to try it for yourself, everybody. And jab. Bump. Move, and jab. One more, and jab. Nicely done. Now the next punch is called a cross. It comes from your backhand, and for your backhand, you're going to twist a lot more. You're going to engage your entire body. So watch how I do it. I'm going to twist, starting from my foot, pivot on my back foot. Next up, my hip launches forward, followed by my arm. Three movements to this. We're going to put it all together. Try it with me. Foot, hip, hand. Foot, hip, hand. Now let's put it together in three, two, one, and cross. Bam. One more time. Relax. And cross. One last one cross. Alright, we've got more time to practice it later on. Next up is your hooks. Your hooks are horizontal punches. Your hands are 90 degrees throughout this punch. It starts from your chin, just like any other punch. You release it, bump, and it at face level, bring it back to your chin. Release, in. Release, in, and release. Now make sure that your shoulder is protecting your chin at all times during the punch. So watch me as I throw that hook, bump. When I end, my shoulder is protecting my hip. Next up, let's try the same thing with your back hook. The same thing goes except that you're going to twist on your back foot now. So when you throw your back hook, bump, back in. Back hook, shoulder up, leg is twisted, back in. Face level, back in. Next up, the other two punches that we're going to go through are your uppercut. So now your uppercut involves two movements. When you throw your uppercut, if I'm throwing an uppercut from my front shoulder, what I'm going to do first is to drop, push all my weight onto one leg. Push all my weight onto one leg, pivot on the other, rise up with an uppercut. Let's try that again, shall we? We're gonna go drop, drive it up, bump. One more time, drop, and drive it up. Next up, the same thing for the back uppercut, just pivot on the other leg now. Pivot on your left, rise up with your right. Pivot on your left, sorry, pivot on your left, rise up on your right. Six punches just like that, completed. You know how to box now. Let's put it into practice with a nice warm up. First minute for you guys, we're just gonna go nice and easy. Jab, cross, and move around. In your fight stance, jab, cross, move around. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. Bum, bum, move. Bum, bum, move. Notice when I move, I'm moving one foot at a time. I'm not hopping. 
I'm moving one foot at a time. Bum, bum. Move, bum, bum. Jab, cross. Moving around. Jab, cross. The punch starts on my chin, and it ends on my chin as well. It comes back to my chin. Keep it like that. For those who are southpaw, otherwise known as your left-handers, what you're going to go for is the same thing. You're just going to throw jab with your right, cross with your left. Still moving the same way, and release, release, move. Bum, bum, go. Nice and simple. You're still moving. All elegant. Keep it there. 20 seconds more. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. In three, two, one, and time. All right, next warm-up. Let's go for a lower body warm-up. You're going to go for a hip opener lunge. This is how you're going to go. You're going to start off with one leg. You're going to raise it up, lean it over to the other side, nice and wide, lunge to the side. Bring it back. Other leg, same thing. Hip opener, lunge to the side, bring it back. Nice and easy. Let's open up the hips, starting with a lunge in three, two, one. Let's go. Hip opener, lunge forward. Bring it back, other leg. Open that hip, lunge. Nice and easy. Want to warm up that lower body as well as open up those hips. Bum, bum. Put all that strain on one leg, move down slowly, come up slowly, go back in. Bum, bum. Nice and easy. We're going to work for another 10 seconds. That counts for about one more rep. Nice and easy, opening up that hips. In three, two, one, and time. All right, next up we're going to go for is your hooks. We're going to go for a double hook. Here's how we're going to go. Fighting stance, left hook, right hook, move around. Nice and easy. One minute. Let's start. Moving. Bum, bum, move. Bum, bum. Move. Try experiment with different kinds of movement here. You can try moving to the left, to the right, to the back, to the forward. Imagine you're chasing your opponent or moving away from your opponent. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Move. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right. Your next warm up is for your upper body. You're going to start off in a push up position. From here, you're going to go to your pike push-up position, which means you raise your legs forward. Now, what you're going to do is make sure you're stable. You're going to put strain on your shoulders. You're going to go for down for one pike push-up and raise your body up. If you're uncomfortable, adjust yourself. Again, push-up, raise. This is called a Hindu push-up. Try with me. Raise your body down and up. Use your shoulders. Use your back. Push into one movement together. Try it for yourself. Now, what you want to do essentially is keep your hands at a 45 degree position. You don't want to flare your arms out too much. This is going to put too much strain in the joints of your shoulders. So you're going to go 45 degrees all the way down. When your shoulders barely touch the ground, you raise up smoothly. Keep going for about five more reps. Bam. Shoulder weight down and up. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and time. All right, next bit of warm-up is for your uppercuts. Get ready, we're going to go for two uppercuts and move ring around. In three, two, one, let's go. Uppercut, uppercut, move. Remember your uppercut, your opponent is somewhere here. So when you throw that uppercut, aim for your opponent, aim for your opponent, and move around. Let's go. Bam, bam. Keep it there, bum, bum. My hands are back in my chin, and I release from my chin. Bum, bum. All the way. One, two, back in. Moving my head, bobbing my head. Now the key to that bobbing head movement, people think that it comes from the shoulders. People think the shoulders moving. It is actually your knees that are moving. When you bounce your knees, you automatically bob your head. It's not just like this. All right, so move that foot, keep that rhythm going, and go. Uppercut, uppercut, move. Bobbing the head, upper, upper, move. Keep it going. In three, two, 
One, and time, guys. All right, the next bit of warm-up, we're gonna work on some long combinations. Before that, give yourself a little water break. Wipe yourself off, get some water. Now, the most punches that we've been throwing is two punches. We're gonna attempt to throw six punches in a row, but don't worry, sounds intimidating. We're gonna ease our way into it. We're gonna start off with a simple combination. Jab, cross, front hook. I repeat, jab, cross, front hook. Three punches, use your hips for every punch. Turn your hip in, in, in. Three punches in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, move. One, two, three, move. Jab, cross, hook, move. Now what you wanna try to do is make sure all punches land at the same spot. What do I mean by that? Jab, cross, hook. People are tempted to throw a very close hook. It looks like this. If people throw it close, hook is here. Your opponent is still there, but you're throwing over here. Land it at the same spot. Keep your hands 90 degrees. Bam. Keep it going. In three, two, one. All right, from here, let's go for four punches now. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Four punches, let's go in three, two, one, and go in. Continuous punches. Once every punch ends, the next punch starts. The punch will only start when one hand is against your cheek, always protecting yourself. What that means is you don't start your punches from here. No, you start your punches from here. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Keep it going for another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, move. For those of us who have been joining me over the, the past couple of weeks, what I want you to try right now is do that slip. Do that weave after you throw the combination. If you remember your slip or your weave, throw that combination and do it after. Everyone else, if it's your first time or you need a bit more practice, repetition makes perfection. So keep going. Bum, 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 bum. In three, two, one, all right, not fun enough. I'm gonna add two more punches to this. We're gonna go for jab, cross, uppercut, jab, cross, hook, hook, end it off with two uppercuts. The whole thing looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw it as fast as you can, stepping away. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move around. Bum, 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 bum. Nice and easy with the movement. Just 30 seconds in the clock. Let's go fast. Footwork is fast as well. You want to be fast on your feet, you also be fast on your hands. Make sure you move your feet fast. One foot at a time. Make sure you move your hands fast as well. Keep going. Hook, hook, upper, upper. One, two, hook, hook, upper, upper. Keep it there. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, hook, hook, upper, upper. Keep it going in three, two, one, and time, guys. All right, that's all we have for the warm-up today. Next up, when you come back for the next segment, we're gonna go through something important for boxing. Earlier on yesterday, Sakina went through the straight punches to the body. I'm gonna go through hooks to the body. This is how a hook to the body looks like. A regular hook to the head goes like this, nice and easy. Shoulder protecting your chin. Now, a hook to the body is when you aim for the sides of your opponent. So effectively, what you want to do is throw that punch on a 45 degree angle. You're gonna aim, fire it 45 degrees. Aim, 45 degrees. It's not an uppercut, it's not a hook. You wanna visualize yourself aiming at the rib. So if you have a mirror in front of you, that's great. Just stare at the mirror, go, bum, bum, go. Bum. You should be aiming at your own ribs. We're gonna go, go through that later on when we go for our train like a boxer segment. We're gonna work these combinations involving body punches with hooks. I'll see you guys in a bit. Drink up, get your equipment ready. I'll see you soon.
Hi guys, welcome back to your second segment of this boxing workout. Right now we're going to train like a boxer. What that means is we're going to work for three minutes and we're going to rest for one minute just like a boxer does when he's boxing in a competition, in a professional fight, in his rounds. All right, so for your first combination, you can go nice and easy like what I was talking about, that body hook. So we're going to work that body hook with a simple combination, three punches, starting with your jab, your cross, and ending it with a body hook on the front side. So again, visualize aiming for your opponent's ribs, not 90 degrees, not an uppercut, 45 degrees with your punch, jab, cross, left body hook or right body hook if you are left-handed. Get ready for three minutes work in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, body hook. Moving around, body hook. Bam, bam, hook. You want to make sure you drive that punch up. So for the first minute, take your time to get the combination right, get the movement right, get the hip movement in, left, right, left. Once you're more comfortable with that, you're going to add in some power into the hook. And how do you do that? You use your flow. So watch me, jab, cross. After that cross lands, your left part of your body, your left side is shifted towards the back. When you drive it forward, driving the hip forward, you want to facilitate a punch coming in. So the punch power doesn't come from your shoulder, it comes from the combined effort of your hip as well as your shoulder. So let's try that again. Jab, cross, drive it in. Jab, cross, drive it in. Nice and easy, bam, bam, drive that punch. Use that hip, focus on the hip movement. Most of your power comes in from your hip. One, two, hook. Bam, bam, hook. Bam, bam, hook. Notice when I throw that left body hook, my right hand is still protecting my chin. That's what you want. You want to make sure you protect as you throw your offense. Keep going. Hook, move. One, two, drive in that hip. Move around. One, two, drive in the hip. Now, we're going to take it up a notch. Not difficult enough. We're going to add a bit of resistance and weights. If you guys have one kilo or two kilo dumbbells at home, that's perfect. If not, even any filled up water bottle will do. We're going to hold it and we're going to use it to add resistance to our combinations. Hook, move, bum, bum, hook, move. 30 seconds, jab, cross, hook. If you're southpaw, right-handed, don't be afraid. Same combination style, right leg is forward, left leg is to the back, so you go right, left, right hook to the body. Bum, bum, hook. One, two, hook. Those of us who have been joining me for the past couple of weeks, I want you to bring in everything together now. Remember your slips, your weaves, your footwork. Put that in after the combination. Bum, bum, bum. Weave. In three, two, one, and bottles down. We're gonna go for an active rest for 30 seconds. Continuous straight punches, and go. Nice and decent pace, pedaling that feet. Catch your breath. We're going on to our second round. Two out of four. Three, two, one, and break. All right, give yourself a little rest. Wipe yourself if you have to. Get that water break in as well. We've got three more rounds to complete. Three more combinations. Now, if you effectively launched a front body hook, you're going to try the same thing with a back body hook. The combination now starts off with a cross. Three punches again, you're gonna go cross, jab, back body hook. Now what I want you to take note now is that your back body hook has way more power than your front. And you're gonna feel it because your back hand is where your master hand is coming from. So what I want you to do right now is throw in that hip as much as possible. Cross, jab, launch it forward. End off your opponent with that back body hook. Push in that power, get ready in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, power. One, two, power. Dig deep, push that punch all the way down in. Keep going. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Moving after. Again, hook, hook, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Make it fast, make it strong. Launch that hip in. Remember what I said about any punches involving your back foot, it starts with your leg, it starts off with your hip, and then your shoulder comes in. Keep that in mind, trying to practice. Pop. Pop. 
That's the way. Keep it going. 30 more seconds before we add our water bottles into the mix. If you want to go for speed, you can try launching your hand first and then your hip. So if you want to get a bit more power into it, launch that hip first and then your hand follows through. If you want a bit more speed in it, pop. just you move your hand first, your hip comes after it. Same combination, just more speed. Pop, pop, pop. So that depends. You want to launch your hip first or your hand first. Keep it going in three, two, one. You know what time it is. Time for a little bit more weight. Same combination, and go. Bum. One, two, three. You decide. You want the speed or you want the power. You choose by which part of your body you move first. Hip comes forward first, you're going for power. Hand comes forward first, you're going for speed. Bum. Bum. One minute of work left. Keep it there. Nice and easy, always bouncing and moving after. Bump. Where should your hands be? On your chin. Even if you're getting a bit tired, your shoulders are pushing your weight down, bring it up a bit. This is true where it should be. If you're wearing your gloves, you should be able to smell the sweaty gloves on your chin. Keep it going. 20 seconds. One, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Last few seconds, I want you to end off this combination with more power, more speed. Bum, bum, bum. Everything that you got. 10 seconds. Keep it going. And time. All right, we've done our straight punches. Next up, we got our continuous hooks. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and continuous hooks, 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Sway that hip in, sway your shoulders in. Catch your breath as we proceed to your third round. Three, two, and time. All right, take a little break, get a water break in. We've completed a combination of a hook on your front, a hook on your back. We're gonna try a double hook after this. Now, all combinations that you've been doing so far, it involves your punches going alternate. It involves your punches going left and then right, left and then right. Now what we're gonna attempt is throw two punches from the same side. How do you do that? You need to make sure you use your hip a lot more for this round. Combination goes like this. You start off with a hook to the body, you bring that shoulder back in, you bring that hip back in, you go for the same hook to the head. So effectively what you're doing is throwing a hook to the body, your opponent brings their hand down, the head is open, and coming in top. So you're gonna go hook to the body, bring your hand back, hook to the head. Body, bring it back, head. That's why it's essential that you use your hip because the hip is what's gonna give you that reset motion. Hook, reset, hook. You're gonna use your hips and facilitate that movement with your knees pivoting. All right, so let's try it on the front first in three, two, one, let's go. Bum, bum. Two punches, same side. Hook, body, head. Nice and easy. Body, head. Now, because you're using your hips, you can get a lot of power by how fast you turn and churn your hips. Bum, bum. Way more power. Focus on your hip. Getting in, getting out. Let's go. Hook, hook. Move, hook, hook. Now, if you're comfortable, let's try that with our right hand. Same thing. Hook on the back, bring it back, hook towards the head. Let's go for double hooks, two on here, two on the other hand, and go. Bum, bum, other side, hook, hook. One to the body, one to the head, reset, hit, reset the hip, body. Sorry, body, then head. Bum, 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 bum. When you throw two punches on the same side, the other hand, don't even move it, it's always on your chin as you throw both punches. Bum, bum, move. Bum, bum, move. In three, two, one, all right. 
you know what we're going to do? <laughs> Get ready in three, two, one, same combination. Hook, 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 hook. Nice. My south pause, same thing. Combination never changes, just the direction. Bum, 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 bum. Keep it going. Hook, 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 hook. Nice, done. Keep it going. 30 seconds. Now for the last few reps, I want you to go fast. Finish the combination in the least amount of time as possible. Bum, 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 bum. In three, two, one, and time. Guys, you're done. You're going to go for your last active rest, which is continuous uppercut, 30 seconds. In three, two, one, and go. Nice and easy. Roll those hands forward, and go. You want to aim at the same point of your opponent, right above his chin, up, 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 up. 10 seconds. Good work so far, guys. We just have one more round till the end of the segment. Three, two, one, and time. All right, last round for everybody. We're gonna go a simple power and speed combination. This combination allows you to go for speed and end it off with a power punch. Very simply, we're gonna go for three uppercuts, one hook, it doesn't matter which side that you start off for. If you start on your left, one, two, three, power. If you start on your right, one, two, three, power on the left. So it doesn't matter which way you start off with, you're gonna go for all uppercuts, they're for speed, building momentum, and ending off with a power shot. Let's get ready for your last round, guys, in three, two, one, let's go. Power. Power. Nice and easy. Power. One, two, three, power. Now, if you are ready for it to go to a next level, I want you to try five uppercuts. You really get momentum going. Bum, 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 bum. So you use the uppercuts to build momentum. You're launching for speed. Your hip is ready. Launch the hip towards the back. Launch it forward for that punch. So we try it again. If you're not ready, just go for three uppercuts. No issue. You are deciding your own fate. Bum. Bump, nicely done. Bump. So, uppercuts are fast. Uppercuts are building momentum. When I'm ready, my hips towards the back. Launch it forward for that power hook. Bump. Keep it going. Bump. Bump. Three. Bump. Two. One. All right, same thing. The last one minute of this round, you're going to go for the same thing, but this time with your water bottles. Now I want everyone to try it with five uppercuts and one power hook. Let's go. Bum. Five. Bum. Five. Bum. Bum. So the idea here is use your hips. Use your hips, I cannot stress that enough. The power doesn't come from your punches, from your hands. If your hips are empty, you're gonna feel that it's very hard for you to launch that power forward. Instead, focus on the movement of your hips. You get there quite quick. Keep it going, guys. Last 20 seconds. Stay in one spot. Let your hands go. Let those hips launch. Bop. Three. Two, and time, guys. Great job. And just like that, we've done training like a boxer. When we come back, I want to take things a bit more difficult. We're going to go for an endurance round. We're going to combine some boxing movements along with body weight movements for six minutes of hardcore endurance. When I get back, I'll see you guys very soon. Drink up, and I'll see you.
Hi guys, welcome back to your third segment. This is your endurance bit. It's going to be a bit more difficult, but we're all going to get through it together. So the way your endurance rounds work is that we're going to go for six exercises. Each exercise constitutes for 45 seconds. I am going to alternate between a whole compound body movement followed by a core planking based movement and vice versa. So we're going to go body weight compound and plank. Body weight compound, plank, body weight compound, plank. The planking has different variations. Each exercise goes for 45 seconds. We have six non-stop before we take a break. So without further ado, let's get to the first exercise, nice and easy. You're going, for your, you're going to go for your regular squats. When you come up, you're going to kick the leg up. So regular squats with a leg kick coming up for 45 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one, let's go. Squat, kick it up. Squat, kick it up. Nice and easy. You want to make sure you use your obliques for this one. Get nice and stable. Bring those legs up, slowly back down, and repeat. Just like that, you got 10 seconds to go. It's endurance. So each round, first things first, you want to get the form right. And then you want to push for maximum number of reps. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right, next up, you're going to go for an ab-based exercise. We're going to go for planks. You're going to go for a high plank. Nice and easy, and we're going to go shoulder taps. Nice and stable, 20 seconds. Now, what you want to try is get that hips not moving too much. So you want to make sure your hips are nice and stationary. Don't move it too much. If you find it very difficult, move your legs out. If your legs are at a wider stance, you'll find it much easier to do your shoulder taps. And three, two, one. Next exercise, take the water bottle. This is pretty easy. We're just going for a bit of conditioning. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Bring it back down, curl, press. Nice and easy. 45 seconds of this. You want to try to speed it up. You want to make sure the elbows are tucked in. You're not flaring out from here. Raise that hand up and out. At this exercise point, if you have a heavier weight, if you have some two kilo dumbbells lying around, it's better to use them than just water bottles. If you don't have them though, it's absolutely fine. Still continue on with your bicep curl. Shoulder press. Three, two, one. All right, next up, we're gonna go for a low plank. And this time, in your low plank, you're just gonna raise your hands up. Take your time, raise it up. Again, crunch on your core. Don't move your hip too much. So raise that leg stance, raising your, head for, raising your hand forward, back in. Forward, back in. Just like that, 20 seconds to go. Keep that butt low, nice and stable. Move your hands out. Keep going for 10 seconds. If you want to put your knees down, it's okay. Just go for a short while. But towards the end, right now, raise those legs up. Try to give me two more reps. And time. Next one. Your fifth exercise, you're going to go for nice and easy burpees with that push-up. In three, two, one, 45 seconds. Let's go. Push up and up. One jump. Push-up position. One push-up. One jump. Now, when you do your push-ups, I'm a big advocate for making sure you've got good form. For your push-ups, I see a lot of people amazing, making their hands go wide out. You're going, to, you're going to get injured. So what you want to make sure you do is 45 degrees. Raise it down. You feel an equal amount of tension on your back, your shoulders, and your chest. And then bring it back up. Keep going for five more seconds. In three, two, one. All right, last exercise, nice and easy. We're just going to go for a regular low plank, holding it there for 45 seconds. Get in position and hold. Nothing too difficult here. Crunching on your core. We're going to end off this endurance bit in about 20 seconds, guys. Keep it there. Here's where it's all about mental strength. It hurts. If you're doing 45 seconds times three or plank exercises, but here, just like this, we're 10 seconds down. Three, two, one, and time. All right, first three minutes of your endurance complete. Now we're going to go again and do the same 
set of exercises, but this time, since we went through the form, I want you to pick up the pace. <laughs> nice little break, 20 seconds, wipe yourself off, pace around the room, get that water in. I did say it's endurance, and it's not called endurance for any reason, right? Now, in five seconds, you're gonna start back again. You're gonna go back into your squat kicks. Again with your endurance, guys, everyone at home, we are in this together. Let's push for the next 45 seconds in three, two, one, and squat kicks. Bump. I'm doing it slow so I can focus on the form. I can show you that when I come up, my legs, I put all that weight on one leg and I raise it up before I bring it back down. Everyone else at home, you want to go for maximum speed here, as fast as you can. You really want to burst your energy out for 45 seconds. Empty that tank. In three, not yet, <laughs> not yet. got five seconds. Three, two, one, all right. You're going to your planks. Let's go for that shoulder tap. High plank mode, but low, and shoulder taps. Like what I said, Focus on your hips. You may not be able to see your hips, but I want you to imagine how much are you swaying too much. If you feel like you're swaying too much, just move your legs apart, go slow, because you're still crunching on your core as you go slowly. Nice and stable. Very silent. Nothing too hard, nothing too high impact with your hands. Tap, down, tap, down. Keep it there, guys. 10 seconds of work. Three, two, one, all right. Let's pick up that weight. Bicep curl, shoulder press. In three, two, one, and go. Bump, bump. Nice and easy. Let's condition those hands, your biceps, and your shoulders. Now you want to try and go as fast as you can here. Not neglecting that form. Tucking your elbow in at all times. Keep it going now. Three, two, one. All right, next up. We're gonna go for planks again. This time is that hand extension low plank. Get ready guys, in three, two, one, let's go. Put all that weight on one hand. All that weight on one hand, making sure you don't get too unstable, and that is where your core comes in. So when you feel like your weight is dropping too much to your right, that's where you crunch on your core, stabilize yourself, and then bring the hand down. So whenever you hear instructors or fitness enthusiasts say, crunch on your core, crunch on your core, that's what you mean. All your stability comes from here, especially when you do your planks. Make sure you find your stability through your core. 13 seconds, guys. It's okay if you go slow. I'm looking for control over here. Three, two, one, and from here, your fifth exercise, that's right, we're gonna go for that burpee with push-up. Let's go. Nice and easy. Remember what I said about those push-ups? Don't try to flare it out, because it's much easier when you flare it out but you're gonna get injured. Go for the harder one, but go for good form. <laughs> 20 seconds, guys. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and time. Last one. You're gonna go for the 45 seconds. Continuous low plank, guys. This is the end of your endurance. Let's not give up now in three. Two, one, and low plank, guys. We're all in this together. We're all crunching together. We're all in pain together. We're gonna hold for another 30 seconds. Nice and easy, control your breathing. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are just above your elbows. If you're flying too much forward, you're gonna feel a lot of strain. Push it back, find that sweet spot. Nice and easy. Three, two, one, and time, guys. 
Just like that, we finished two rounds of your endurance. Next up, we have our last round in our uppercut, our signature speed flow and aggression before we put this whole workout to a stop. We're going to go for speed flow and aggression, and because this is a get active program, I've tweaked it a little. We're going to go for work and flow. When I say flow, you're going to box, freestyle, doesn't matter what combinations you throw, just easy and relaxed. When I say work, I'm going to give you an exercise. It's usually boxing based, and you're going to go as fast as you can for 10 seconds. 20 seconds of flow, 10 seconds of work, six sets of that. Get ready, guys. Wipe yourself off. Get a nice water break in. It's your last rep. It's your last set of exercises. It's your last three minutes of work. So no matter how tired you are right now, no matter how much you feel like giving it up, turning off the television, no. Let's go all out for this one. Let's empty our tank this Friday afternoon. Let's go for your flow in three, two, one, and flow. Moving around. I'm throwing simple combinations, but what you can do is work on the same combinations today. Three, two, one, first work, continuous straight punches, 10 seconds in three, two, one, boom. Fast as you can. All speed now. Let those hands fly and break. Back again to your flow. It's only working for 10 seconds, guys. Get a good form in. The next work is going to be continuous uppercuts, full speed on your uppercuts in three, two, one, and speed. Roll those hands, same opponent. You're bouncing his chin. Keep it there. Three, two, one. All right, same thing. Relax, work. Now, I want you to try the same combinations we did today. Those body hooks, put that into play right now. Take away from today is that body hooks. Don't just do your regular hooks when you do your shadow boxing. Now, you can add in a punch to the body. The next work of yours is power hooks. Continuous power hooks in three, two, one, and power hooks. Bum, bum, bum. Notice because I said power, I'm slowing down on my punches. I'm putting full effort on each punch. You do exactly the same. Power, power. Power, power. I'm taking my time, I'm loading up my hips. That's how you get power. Three, two, one. All right, your last flow right here. Your last flow. And for your last work, you're gonna go for something called an aggression. Aggression is when you put speed and power together. You're gonna go for 20 seconds of aggression. You're gonna go fast and hard. You're gonna go all out for your last 20 seconds of this class. That sounds good. I know you're ready at home. Get ready for your flow, sorry, your work. Aggression in three, two, one, and power and speed, guys. Power and speed. Let those hands fly. Let your hips work. Your whole body is working. Keep it there. Three, two, one, and time, guys. Great job, every single one of you at home. You guys have completed the workout. It's been a privilege taking you through for the last 45 minutes. Let's go through a nice cool down before we end. I like to start off with a back stretch. So my legs are straight. I'm gonna bend down and try to touch my toes. As I'm cooling down, I just want to make sure I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth and throughout my entire cool down session. As I'm pulsing, I'm gonna stand back up slowly. I'm gonna go for a nice cobra stretch. This is great for your core and your back. Lower body on the floor, upper body face forward. Look up to maximize that stretch, but still breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. In three, in two, in one. And just like that, guys, we have completed another workout for your afternoon stretch. It's been a great honor working you through for the past few weeks with this uppercut and get active co collaboration. I had great fun and I hope you guys had too. I will see you next time on Get Active. Thank you and take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.